things, Chris. Storm Team Meteorologist Griffin Hardy joining us now. And a lot of people this Memorial Day weekend want to get outside in some capacity. And yesterday, mm -hmm. definitely less than ideal. Yeah, I mean, we had uh, afternoon storms, which is what you would expect this time of year. And they were pretty active at times, especially right here in Birmingham this evening. Sun coming up over Birmingham right now. We're sitting in the mid 60s. It looks like most spots in the 60s for now, but we're going to warm up pretty quickly as the sun comes up 66 at the Birmingham Airport. Here's a look at the rain shaft or at least just one of those rain shafts that formed yesterday from those storms going down. I 459 was Clay, Bar Clay Barnett yesterday sent us this photo on Twitter. There's that rain shaft that you see there. We'll be seeing plenty more of this later today as well. Here's a look at the storm reports from yesterday. A lot of wind damage over in Mississippi and not as much as compared to Friday uh, across our viewing area, but we did have quite a lot of flooding in the northeastern suburbs of Birmingham over towards Tarrant and Irondale and Center Point with a nearly stationary storm that dumped a lot of rainfall, especially at the Birmingham Airport where they picked up over three inches of rain just from those couple of storms there. Uh, that's a one day rainfall record for yesterday's date. Had around an inch and a half of Aniston and a lot of variance el elsewhere. This just goes to show that in the summertime, it really varies a lot who gets rain and who doesn't. That's going to be the case later today as well. Seeing a couple light showers this morning over the past hour over towards Aniston and Gadsden, parts of Calhoun County and Etowah County waking up to some rain this morning. And it looks like most of us will see more of those storms develop later this afternoon all across the deep south. Pretty quiet right now with some light showers along the coast, but uh, we'll be seeing that turn heavier this afternoon. The rain won't be as widespread. I think it'll be isolated rain chances. If anything, we'll keep it at around 40% for today. You see the rain coverage not quite as scattered in our forecast model, but most spots definitely hot and humid for today. Most spots getting up into the 90s. A chance for evening storms is going to be there until around 10 p.m. tonight, and then they fizzle out and we stay mainly quiet overnight into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, more of the same for Memorial Day with afternoon showers and storms and the heat and humidity are on for the time being. And the rain chances go up a little bit Tuesday and Wednesday with an upper level low up to 60% with more scattered storms on the way. If you're out walking the dog, the morning is the time to do it without a doubt with temperatures in the low 70s this morning, upper 80s by lunchtime, and then those storms come in as we warm up into the 90s this afternoon. Here's the rest of your seven day forecast. Wet weather is the name of the game for the rest of the forecast period as we see those highs get into the mid 80s with the higher rain chances Tuesday and Wednesday and more afternoon storms for the remainder of the week.